Uh, hello, uh, my name is Joe and I work at the Pocono Mountain Public Library. Uh, due to the coronavirus, uh, we've had to cancel all our summer programming um, and we had to uh, reduce services. So as a result, uh, we plan on putting a lot more content onto, the, onto our YouTube channel. Uh, so keep an eye out for our YouTube channel, uh, check our Facebook page, and check our website. Uh, all that stuff will be down either in the description box or, the, um, or in the comments. Um, today I'm going to be doing a book review. This is my first book review on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing a, a funny book called Noir by uh, Christopher Moore. Uh, it is available on one of our ebook platforms as an ebook or as an audiobook. Um, in this novel, we meet Sammy Two Toes Tiflin. The setting is 1947 San Francisco. Uh, Sammy is your typical streetwise um, sort of uh, protagonist that you would see in like the old time uh, pulp novels of the 40s and 50s, like Dashiell Hammett or or maybe Raymond Chandler. It's a, the noir is a sort of a parody of that um, of that style. This book is laugh out funny. Um, most of his books are. I've read about three of his books, and all all three of them so far have been hilarious. Uh, this book was um, published a couple of years ago. Uh, I just listened to it uh, a few months ago on Hoopla Digital, and I'll tell you more about that. The novel takes place in 1947 San Francisco. Uh, the main character, Sammy Two Toes, is like your typical detective novel protagonist. He is a likable, street smart, wise guy. Uh, he do doesn't necessarily know it all, but he, he's quick on his feet, and he's something of a hero, I, I would guess. He's a reluctant hero. Um, Sammy Two Toes is not a criminal or a gangster, however he happens to work for one. He works as a bartender at Sal's Saloon. Uh, that's where he meets the love interest of the novel, Stilton, like the cheese. That you'll you know you'll know that reference once you read the novel. Um, it's so it's they kind of have chemistry and it's kind of a love at first sight type of thing. Um, so they flirt with each other and whatnot, and and the novel progresses. It is full of. So, so many unexpected things that you would not regularly associate with a, a detective novel. This detective novel, for instance, has uh, one, a talking snake, and two, aliens from Roswell. That's right, this book is somehow, Christopher Moore ties the events of this book with the Roswell conspiracy of the 1950s. You know, uh, and uh, I guess it's actually 1947 because Christopher Moore actually did a lot of research to write this book. Uh, he took painstaking research to write this book. So instead of like giving you, you know, spelling out the plot point by point, let me just say that Sammy has a lot of problems. Throughout the novel, these are some of the problems that Sammy has. And I'm not going to uh, try not to give you any spoilers. If I do, my apologies. Um, Sammy has a boss who is blackmailing him. Okay, that's one of his problems. Sammy's boss, who's blackmailing him, is killed by Sammy's black mamba. That's right. Sammy has a black mamba sent to the bar that he works at. This, this, the, the boss, who's not a very nice man, opens the, the package, and he's not expecting a black mamba to be inside, and the black mamba just kills him. All right. Uh, so the opening of the novel has Sammy walking into the saloon. It's not yet open, and there is his boss dead on the floor from a poisonous snake bite. Uh, also, to further complicate things, Sammy, Sammy's Black Mamba is on the loose and is killing random people. Um, nobody knows it's his Black Mamba yet, but it's only a matter of time. Um, Number three, his third problem. Two mysterious men dressed in black are following him and he doesn't know why. This is like the, where the Roswell connection comes in. And he is in love with a woman named after a brand of cheese, which I already mentioned, and she is missing and in physical peril. 
Now, as he searches for her, he gets entangled into a dirty deal that his boss, Sal, has made with a U.S. general from New Mexico. And this is again where the Roswell conspiracy takes place. Hence the, hence the aliens. Um, that's all I'm going to say about the book, except that it is really funny. It's, it's like a Dashiell ha- Hammett novel or a Raymond Chandler novel meets slapstick, or it's like a Humphrey Bogart movie if Bogart did slapstick. Um, Christopher Moore has a mastery of the language. I wish I had the book right here to, so I could read you some of the sentences, but we don't have the physical book, and um, I don't have access to the ebook right now because I checked it in a little while ago. And Although uh, Christopher... Moore's novel is very funny. It can be offensive. Uh, because it takes place in San Francisco in 1947, um, there are racial stereotypes, uh, specifically towards Asian Americans. Uh, I don't think Christopher Moore was trying to um, be mean, but uh, he was trying to portray 1947 San Francisco as uh, accurately as possible. And uh, as a result, there is some of that, uh, some of those stereotypes. So uh, if you can get past that, you're in for a real treat. However, if you are someone who was easily offended, um, you, this might not be the book for you. Um, if you want to read the book, Online, you can use one of our ebook platforms. I have right here. Um, if you do not have a Hoopla account already, um, you could go to either our web page and click on the Hoopla icon, or you can uh, go to your iPad or your tablet or your uh, iPhone and go to the App Store. So you can look up Hoopla Digital right there. I already have the app on my phone or on my device, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit open. And I, on here, basically, um, I just entered Christopher Moore and all these books came up. Uh, you'll see Noir right there. Uh, it's available as an ebook, but also if you scroll down, you can see right there, it is also an audiobook. So uh, the audiobook I, is what I listen to. and. Not it was Joshua Heller who narrated it, and he uses a sort of like the sort of like the 1947 detective lingo, and he he does a really good job narrating this book. Sometimes a narrator can really ruin ruin a book, but just Joshua Heller Heller did a fantastic job. Uh, all you need is our one of our library cards to get a Hoopla account, um, and uh, just you know go to your app store and uh, install it on your device. Um, thank you very much. If you like this review, uh, please like and subscribe down there. We have more content to come. Thank you very much.